So a big thing for kids in foster care are visits. So can you guys talk to potential foster parents about what's that like for you as the kids? Like the day before, two days before the visit, the day of the visit, what happens at your visit? Can you kind of talk all about visits? Because it's a big deal. Oh, goodness. Um, wow. This is a big question, I feel like. Um, we used to go to this place in Hamilton. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> Butler County Children's Services Visitation yeah. Center. Something weird. <laughs> anyway, we used to, we went there for like the longest time. So you time. had super mm -hmm. Yeah, I th I probably. And most, most cases do, especially in the beginning. And so what, what is that like? This caseworker literally, let's say I'm here and Kiana's here, this caseworker sits right there and literally stares at you the whole visit and writes stuff down. Weird. So weird. Anytime you go to the bathroom, oh, she's standing at the bathroom door waiting for you to come out. Like, you're, that's weird. I understand why you have to do it, but like, back up. Like, I don't know you. Like from a distance. So right. visits are weird for you. So weird. What about the emotions about seeing your bio parents? You're not living with them right now, right? And maybe it was different for you when you're younger than when you're older, right? So talk about that. I feel like a lot of the times our visits were like, Yes, like we're visiting and stuff, but I feel like our dad was more focused on how he was looking in front of the caseworker. Mm -hmm. Like I remember there would be certain times like, you're not happy all of the time. You can't be going in something smiling and giggling. We would also go to visits after school every day. So we would have been waking up early, going to school all day. And then maybe I was missing gymnastics practice for this visit. And then it was also the fact that, oh, maybe he won't show up, so I'm missing gymnastics practice to come to this visit he's not about to be at. So just a bunch of different mixed emotions that were frustrating, exciting, whatever. But we would go to these visits and he would like be like, y'all need to smile more because the caseworker's watching you. Like, no. Like, I'm sorry that you feel some type of way, but like, I have a life too. Like, I'm not, I'm tired. Like, I'm in school all day, you know what I mean? And so I feel like a lot of the times he would like, over gas himself up like he'd be like oh give me a hug and like smile all big like what are you doing like do you agree with that or like mm -hmm. no so that was hard for you you had to like play a role and you weren't playing it right or whatever so if you're a foster parent and your kids are in the car on the way home what should they do or not do about your visit so <laughs> I guess we always like argued and fought yeah I don't remember so we would have to sit in like different rows of the car um, I don't know. Do you I want your foster parents asking you, how was your visit? What did you guys talk about? No. Most of the time, they'll just ask, say something to you if they want you to know about it. I and mean, it, I feel like y'all find out about it eventually anyway from the caseworker. Like, there has to be some communication with the mm -hmm. supervised person and your caseworker. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it doesn't hurt to be like, how was your visit? Because I feel like that's kind of like, like, how was your day? Right. Okay, but not fishing. Right, but but don't be like, so what'd you do? What'd you talk about? Did you see it? Like, you don't gotta do all that. But if they, if you know, how's your visit good? And that's all they say, then okay. stop asking questions. You don't <laughs> gotta keep prying. But if you say, how's your visit? And then they go on a whole tangent, that's cool too. Um, but yeah, like, don't, you know, because if it was a bad visit, maybe they don't wanna talk about it. Right.